Hey guys, it's MH Finn. Today I'm going over the most famous story involving the Robin Hood app. Widely known on the internet as the box spread story, a tale where one person with a mere $5,000 in their account changed Robin Hood and options trading forever. Today we take a deep dive into the mind of legendary options trader known only by his username, Irony Man. I begin with some background. Irony Man was a frequent commenter on the popular subreddit known as Wall Street Bets, a high-intensity options trading discussion forum that served as a home for users who more often than not took massive risks in order to generate incredible life-changing returns. Many considered it a gambling forum rather than a strategic discussion board. Much of the plays and topics of conversation on this subreddit involved option strategies where the returns and risks were astronomically high creating an environment where the stories of loss were plentiful, some more entertaining than others. Irony Man's story stands as the peak, the Mount Everest of options trading for the common man. Unlike others on the internet, I will not begin this tale by trashing the decisions leading up to this catastrophe, which ultimately resulted in a $59,000 loss from a $5,000 trade, an unprecedented negative 2,000% return. How one man, through one trade, created a meme and changed Robinhood policy single-handedly leading to a complete ban on box spreads is a story known as the box spread catastrophe. Before we begin talking about box spreads, options, or Robinhood, we first have to understand the situation. Iron Man's account totaled $5,000, and you are probably thinking to yourself, how is it possible to lose more money than you actually deposit? How can you end up beneath zero? If you go to the casino with $1,000, the most you can lose is $1,000. If you buy $100 worth of lottery tickets, you can only lose $100. So how is it that one person can deposit $5,000 and lose 12 times that amount? Well, that is part of the magic, and it starts with part one, the idea. Irony Man was eager to come up with a way to generate high returns on his account without any of the risks that were associated with moves of that nature. In options trading, if you realistically wanted to take your $5,000 account to some life-changing sum, you were left with few options, no pun intended, all of them extremely risky with a very high chance of complete loss. Now this is where the story really begins to take form. Options trading can get complex, really, really complex, with dozens if not hundreds of strategies that can get very complicated to understand. One of those relatively complex strategies is box spreads. Now while others on the internet will mock his decision making, the root of this story is grounded on some pretty genius thinking. Box spreads are an arbitrage strategy, meaning that they guarantee a profit with an asterisk of course if played correctly. Even when you look at the Investopedia page discussing this strategy, it's spelled out pretty openly. The trade locks in a riskless profit. Riskless. So you may be saying to yourself, riskless profit, snake oil, free money isn't real and it's not but the principal core still stands. Given a certain situation meets a certain set of requirements, box spreads are essentially riskless plays. That's the entire premise behind arbitrage. If a trader believes the underlying spreads as part of this strategy are underpriced, he or she will profit using this strategy, and that is a guarantee. The only thing is that the profits are usually very, very low, and the collateral requirement is very, very high. On top of that, most of the time this strategy will not work because commission costs or the fees associated with buying and selling these option contracts are too much and eat away the profit. But Iron Man's light bulb went off. Robinhood doesn't have commission. That's its entire premise. Robinhood stands alone in a world of trading platforms that charges zero dollars in commission making box spreads very attractive on the surface. Irony Man discovered something that even when you look back at the original thread, many users were very confused and split about. Some saying it was a genius idea, others saying it had hidden risks. He discovered a supposed arbitrage opportunity with an asset called UVXY, which in itself is pretty complicated. It's not a typical stock, but rather a big short-term futures ETF. We just don't have enough time to explain it, so I'll leave a link below so you can read about it if you're interested. Getting back to what really matters is Irony Man's attempt to create an arbitrage opportunity using VUVXY options. 
He set up a play in which he was supposedly guaranteed $38,000 of profit at the end of a two-year period. But if you read into the details, there was a fatal flaw in this plan. Even when you duplicate this same exact play on options calculator, you can clearly see the max risk at expiration is zero. Looking at the chart, it clearly displays a solid green line as expiration draws near. Based on amateur wisdom, this play is a dream. Given that Robin Hood agrees and the mask's risk in this play is zero, then Irony Man could essentially buy up to 500 contracts on each leg of his play. This would give him a return totaling $30,000 guaranteed. Obviously, looking back at this, it's too good to be true. There is no such thing as free money, and this is part of the story where the move takes a turn for the worst. Part 2. The Disaster like I said earlier, box spreads are legitimately risk-free in certain situations. But if you carefully research, you will see that they work best on something called European options, which you simply cannot exercise prior to expiration. With American options like those traded on Robin Hood and those Irony Man was dealing with, you can choose to exercise your option prior to expiration. This is where the risk is. Irony Man was in essence guaranteed a profit so long as no one exercised the options he was selling. If someone did exercise, the potential risk was massive. In a worst case scenario, Irony Man could have endured a $212,000 max loss. Remember, this is someone with $5,000 in their account. For some reason, whether it's greed or simple manipulation, this was missed in his research. If you're not careful, even options calculator isn't going to tell you what potential losses you face because that scenario isn't really addressed. You already know what happened next. Irony Man's play got exercised. Robin Hood closed the trade for him and ended the debacle with a $53,000 total loss. But here is the other side to the story, the Robin Hood side. Like explained in my Iron Condor video, whenever you're executing these complex options trading strategies, Robin Hood is supposed to hold a collateral amount of cash in order to insure themselves against situations exactly like this. For this case, because the maximum loss is $212,000, Robin Hood was in theory supposed to prevent this trade from even going through. Typically, in order to complete a trade with a maximum loss of $212,000, you're supposed to have at least that much in cash just sitting as collateral. But Robin Hood, for reasons still unknown, allowed the trade to go through even though he had a mere $5,000 in his account. A user putting themselves in that position where they stand to potentially lose over $200,000 from an initial $5,000 investment is just something that shouldn't happen. Typically, trading platforms will have sophisticated risk analysts to prevent trades like these from going through, and although Irony Man lost $53,000, he exposed a critical flaw in the app. Within the same week, box spreads were banned and continued to be banned from Robin Hood, and ultimately a valuable lesson was learned from everyone involved. Robin Hood began looking at ways to reduce risks associated with trades like these, and now set forth rules preventing users from exposing themselves to leverage positions that could potentially explode. I was never able to confirm nor deny if Irony Man ever had to repay Robin Hood for his debt. If anyone has the details to this, make sure you comment below. In summary, when something is too good to be true, 99% of the time, it is. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed.